Hello animators and welcome to On The Go, a series where I show you short but useful manimator tips within 5 minutes. Today's lesson, item sheets. Let's begin. If we want to understand item sheets, we gotta take a look at how items work in Minimator. If you want to change the item, it shows you a selection of all the different items, and every time you select one, they appear three-dimensional no matter what. What if I tell you it's possible to customize them? This is what your typical item sheet looks like, and it's nothing but a flat image, and it automatically spreads it apart with squares and lets you choose the different squares, which creates separate items. That's all there is. I made a bunch of different item sheets, and these will all be downloadable in the description below. This is the classic one, item sheet 16 by 16. If I open that with paint.net or any other image editing program that supports transparency, you'll see that it's nothing but an empty image divided into squares. See, this is one square, this is one square, the corners are marked. So if I want an item, say this red blob and this green blob down here and this blue blob, blob up here, and say we also delete the edges of these because the edges are just there to help you, the edges are not supposed to be there, and now I save this image. Going back into my image, if I browse for an image of the item sheets and I select this one that I drew, you can totally see what's going on. Minimator will divide the image into squares, into squares of 16 by 16. Click OK, and if you want to change the item, you can see your different blobs in here, and they are also three-dimensional. So in theory, you can get your flat drawing into a 3D shape just by doing this. Then what's up with all of these then? I'm glad you asked. Let's go back into our blobs image and say that I want an item which looks like Jabba the Hutt. We've got Jabba the Hutt. However, if I want to squeeze him into one space, you kind of lose a lot of resolution and this doesn't really look like Jabba anymore. I even had to crop it more, come on. This isn't the Jabba I want. I want a more high quality Jabba the Hutt. And that's why I made all these different item sheets. If you select the 23 by 23 item sheet, the normal item sheet, the one I was using so far, has got tiny squares of 16 pixels by 16 pixels. And it's also got 16 of these squares here and 16 of these squares here, making for a total of 256 squares. I totally didn't use a calculator for this. However, item sheet 32 by 32 has also got 16 by 16 squares, but the squares have a 32 by 32 pixel range. These are way more HD. The bigger the image you import, the more it's gonna like the software. So I came up with these. Let's open this up. This is the same 16 by 16 item sheet, except that I've deleted every other square. I have basically gone and done this. You see, this is now one giant square. This now only has eight squares on the horizontal as well as on the vertical axes. But you can fit twice as many information in one square. Say I want my Jabba the Hutt to be in here, so let's pick this one which is only 4x4, four four, and it has massive squares, I can fit everything in here. So with this, my Jabba the Hutt can be massive, and let's erase the edges, and save this as a PNG, needs to be a PNG, call it Bois, just so I know what it is. And in my animator, if I choose the texture to be my Bois, and if you remember correctly, the image only had four squares on each side, so if I put four squares in here, I got my items. If I change my item, I can select Jabba the Hutt in high resolution to be my three-dimensional item. I got 16 by 16, 23 by 23, and 64 by 64. You have all the resolution you need. You can draw anything and turn it into a 3D asset. That's very helpful if you want to model 3D clothes, 3D weapons out of multiple items, 3D hair, which I'll get to in two days, and just anything you wish. This is the same way the Oblivion weapon pack was created. I've made all those weapons by drawing shapes and building them together. That's all. Item sheets, very useful. Now that's all for me. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And now thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and had fun, and we'll see you next time. Stay sharp.